Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful, awesome family in Jesus Christ. For as lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And here's the verse of the day. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. First off, all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. If you watched my last video and heard my last video, I said in the next video I was going to have a surprise for you. And it's all Jesus Christ. All for the glory of love. All for the glory of God. And before I show you what he has me doing for us, please praise him right now. Jesus Christ, and give all the glory to our Father for showing us all of this and everything he's doing for us. It's all for him. And I glorify you more, Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, right now for our brothers and sisters, for all your love and all your prayers and all your support. And I don't need any more donations. Thank you all. You're such a blessing. I have everything I need to feed the homeless, to help the poor, to hand out tents. So thank you again, family. And I have some extra money. So here's what he's telling me to do with it. And this is the surprise. And he used an awesome sister to kick this off. She works at a printing company and she printed the Revelation 12 sign and sent it to me and I got it on my birthday. God is so good. And I'm in so much pain that I need these little love blasts. And it made my day. And I posted this picture in the community. And now Jesus Christ is telling me to print 25,000. And time is short. So we're going to ship these out in 100 per package. Two-day mail. But as of right now, we're only going to be able to ship 250 packages to you, brothers and sisters. So it will be first request, first serve. All you have to do is email me. You don't have to pay for anything. Our Father already covered it. Praise you, Father. So anyone that would like to hand these out, all you have to do is email me an address to ship them to. And you could just leave them on tables like Habakkuk 2. Verse 2, and the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and it will not tarry. And I got the Holy Spirit all over me. Praise you, Father. And all glory to you, Father. Thank you, family. If you remember... Christina and I shipped out a half a million of the invitations. It took us four years, I believe. And when Christina was still here, he had me working on a rapture flyer. But I could never finish it, and I kept wondering why. But it just never came together. Then the sister reached out, and all this started happening, and he finished the flyer the other night. And here it is. The rapture. 1 Thessalonians 4, 14 through 15. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17. Luke 21, 25. Acts 1, 11. And Romans 8, 11. So this will be on one side of the flyer. And the Revelation 12 sign will be on the other. That's the surprise, family. It's crunch time. Jesus Christ is coming to get us. Don't believe the father of lies. We know the word is true. He went to prepare a place for us and he's coming back to get us to take us to that place in heaven. And that destroys the rapture happened immediately after the seven years of tribulation. And remember, he said when he's revealed, it'll be like the times of Noah and Lot and people will be eating and drinking and planting and building and buying and selling and getting married and given in marriage. That's not the seven year tribulation. That's like the times of Noah. When he comes like a thief for those not watching. But we're expecting him. And we are watching. And for anybody that's confused, ask yourself, what do you think Jesus Christ was telling you to watch? Matthew 25, 13. Watch, therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Genesis 1.14, I go over it all the time. He created the sun and the moon for signs. Jesus Christ said that's where they'll be. 
in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars. That's what we're supposed to be watching. Just like the wise men that followed his star and found him. I got the Holy Spirit all over me. And some people were offended by this asteroid 666, so I just changed it to beast, because we know that's what the 666 represents. And this isn't my design. It's our Father. He knows the names of these asteroids slash stars slash minor planets. And remember, you guys have seen shooting stars. That's what they call them, shooting stars. Well, those are asteroids that break up into meteorites, is what they say. Point being is, these are the signs. The woman is clothed with the sun. The moon is under her feet. Bible names all over the woman. And much more. And there's a reason that this star named 666 is right next to Israel. You know the word. Put it together. And it's not a coincidence that this comet, Nishimura, is headed straight for this star named Gale, that means Wormwood. Wormwood is Revelation 8.11. Nishimura was discovered this year on 8.11. Gale was discovered 70 years ago on 8.11. These are his signs. These are his heads ups. And anybody that's banging on me or coming against me, you're just breaking the second biggest commandment. And that's between you and Jesus Christ. I still love you. God bless you. And when we stand before him, you'll see that this is the truth. And when you stand before him, you'll see that I did this all for the glory of love, Jesus Christ. And the reason why I get blown up with the Holy Spirit is because I'm being obedient it's Acts 5.32, and we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. I got the Holy Spirit all over me. Praise you, Father. I know my journey. I know my mission. I know that he's the author and finisher of my faith, and I'm going to follow him till the end. Forever. Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 7, verse 3, And why beholdest thou mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in your own eye? And for those out there that are saying that this is a Babylonian sign, you're confused. The father of lies is lying to you. Wake up. This is not astrology. This is astronomy. I'm going to make it real clear to you. Like my brother Bob said, the devil has tried to hijack this whole system. So our father made the rainbow a covenant for us. And the devil tried to hijack the rainbow. So are you going to stop looking at rainbows and stop believing in God's covenant? I'm not. I love rainbows. And yes, some of these stars are named after false gods, like Mars. But I don't talk about them. I talk about the biblical side of the stars. Remember, these are God's stars. These are not the devil's stars. I don't believe in false gods, and I don't want nothing to do with them. It's all a lie from the devil. I only believe the truth, Jesus Christ. Now on to the signs, his signs, right where he said they would be. And I see a lot of comments asking what the program is that I use. And I use the Stellarium Plus on my phone. It's an app. But some of these, what they call asteroids, the stars, are not on the app. You have to go to a desktop and go to Stellarium on your desktop. And it's really easy to navigate through and search. So I just wanted to let you guys know, because we're supposed to be watching his signs. So I want to help you. And it's good to double check people's research because we make mistakes. But God don't. He never makes mistakes. He's always on time. He's never late. He's perfect. And I'm on my phone right now. And a sister emailed me and asked me to look into this star named Storm. And it's right there. Right on top of what they call Mars. 
And that's why I put the quotations around Mars. Because that's not Mars' real name. And I don't want any credit for anything. Please give our father all the glory. It's his sign. It's not mine. I'm just a vessel that he's using to show you. That's why he showed me. It has to be why he showed me the asteroid child coming out of the woman's womb on the 15th. The expected Rosh Hashanah Feast of Trumpets date. But just a heads up. No one knows when the Feast of Trumpets will start until they confirm the new moon over Jerusalem. And last month, they confirmed it on the 17th. And that's why Deborah Gordon is expecting it on the 16th. But she said it could be on the 15th, 16th, or 17th. Remember, there's clouds and weather, and sometimes they can't confirm the new moon. It's our Father's perfect timing. And originally, I put the dots next to the name so you could see exactly where these stars are on the 19th. So this is an image of September 19th and where they'll be on that day. And that's where storm will be. But at the end of September 17th, going into the 18th, when they start the seven year 2030 agenda summit, at the end of the 17th, going into the 18th, this star storm is directly on top of what they call Mars the red planet and you can see it very clearly when you look up at the stars because it's an orangish red color and that wandering star is not a god of anything the romans worshiped it and called it the god of war but there's only one god of war the lord jesus christ exodus 15 3 the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the one and only true living God. And as you can see, I'm running out of room. So whatever comes in, I'm just going to have to throw on there without the dots. So bear with me, family. I'll put them in the area where they belong. And I've been over it a couple times in videos and shown Earth sky. They're saying that on September 19th, Venus will be at its brightest. And as you can see, right in front of Venus is the star Esther, which is named after the biblical Esther. Now, here comes what I'm seeing looks like a seven day warning. And it goes with emergency 911. And our father, he's a God of anniversaries. That's why the same thing happens over and over on the same day, like the temple being destroyed, like Passover and on and on. And since there was sudden destruction on 9-11 in 2001, we should be on our toes. And we should always be on our toes watching and waiting and expecting him, even on the days that aren't high watch dates. And again, I'm not talking about false gods. I'm talking about Jesus Christ, the Word. And when you look up the word Thyra, it means door, entrance, gate. And it's Strong's 2374. And Jesus Christ is the door. And this is today's date, September 5th. And you can see it's under what they call Leo, the lion. And as you go through the days, you can see Mercury approaching Thyra. On the 10th, it's right there. And on the 11th, they're right next to each other. And I'll back it up to today's date, and I'll walk you through the days. And as you go through the days, you can see Mercury lines up with Thyra, the door, on 9-11. And I'll go through the hours, and you can see it's right there, family. Now back to his heavenly billboard, I showed you Venus with Esther. And when I was tracking Venus, this other star popped up and it's called Venusia. It's right under Israel, right under Solomon, right next to Gael. And for everyone talking about these false gods that I haven't been talking about in the celestial heavenly billboard at all, just a heads up. The wandering star they call Venus is named after a false god and all the main planets except for Earth. But you guys still are calling them Venus. And if you noticed, when I go over it, I say, 
what people call Venus. Because our Father, and you're going to find out when we get there, has named every single star. And it's not named Venus. And remember, he lined it up perfectly and had a supermoon land on the Jewish holiday to be of, to remind us to live in love. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Don't forget the two greatest commandments because all the laws and all the prophets hang on those two. And God, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, living inside of us is the only good in us. He's what's righteous through us. Jesus Christ said, love your enemies. Don't attack them and try to police them and tell them what to do. Don't let no one discourage you, family. Every one of you that are excited and you see the signs and you know that they're his signs and that he's showing us he's coming, you're excited because you'll be joyful at his appearance. Don't let no one steal your crown or your joy. And you don't have to worry or be concerned with what anyone else says. Just remember what Jesus Christ said and follow him. And he said, and it's Luke 21, 25. And he said the signs would be in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And there's this star right here called Carl Anches. And it's 2125, Carl. And Carl means free man. And right under that is a star called Armida. And it just happens to be number 514. And I don't get down with sorcery or magic or any of that crap. That's all the devil's formula. And the Lord rebuked you, Satan. Get behind us. But as you can see right here, there was a book or something written, and it says that it's called Jerusalem Delivered. And the star is also known as 514 Armida, Israel's birthday. And right under that, I showed you Rembrandt and how it's connected to the prodigal son in the last video. Well, the meaning of Rembrandt is... Advice, counsel, decision, fire, torch, sword. And there's a lot I haven't had a chance to add on to the heavenly billboard yet. But God willing, I'll get it done. And I'm going to walk you through some of them right now. All glory to our Father in this Son, Jesus Christ's name. And I received this email from a sister. Hello, Patrick. Thank you so much for continuing to put God's puzzle pieces together for us. All glory to our Father family. I'm unsure if you've mentioned minor planet slash asteroid star 953 pain leva. But just in case, I'm messaging you anyways. I don't know if it's pertinent to your overall picture, but found it crosses Virgo right before the child does. Could this be part of the labor pains? Yes, absolutely, family. This is our Father painting the picture. These are his signs. He's perfect. And I'm feeling his Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. And there it is, right there, pain leva. And Jesus Christ is my pain reliever. And there's another star right there called Hus. And in the Bible, he was Abraham's nephew. And you gotta love this, sisters. Huss stated that women were made in the image of God and should fear no man. He allowed women to preach and serve in battle. <laughs> I'm being blown up with the Holy Spirit. Praise you, Father. This is the truth. He is the truth. If you try to come against him, you'll fail. His sword cuts through everything. And Huss is also known as 1840 Huss. And in Hebrew, it's God is my judge. Not people. Judge and you'll be judged. And in Greek, it's to have strength enough. I have strength for a difficult task. And perfectly able. And remember, he says when he comes, we'll have little strength. That means we'll still have strength, family. And we'll have enough strength. Praise you, Father. And I'm being blown up again. Praise you, Father. Let's go. All glory to our Father. Many have tried and many have failed. And no one will ever quench the Spirit. I'm on fire for Jesus Christ. I love Him more than anything or anyone. And all I want to do is be with Him. So if you're attacking me, it's okay. I love you. 
but you're wasting your time. Focus on being fruitful for him. First seek the kingdom and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you. And there's a comment down by the moon on the 19th called JC, wise. And I walked you through the picture, through the story, and I showed you the wise men and they follow the star. And the star is right in the middle of the woman, spelled S-T-A-R-R. But what I didn't show you, what I'm about to, is the meaning. And it means a receipt given by Jews on payment of debt. And when you dig deeper, it literally means a star requires two witnesses. And they're coming. And that's the reason why there was wise men, plural. Can I get a witness? All glory to our Father. And the reason why I labeled the video, the water broke and his signs are flooding the net is because many watchmen and you brothers and sisters have been purified and you're living in love and you see these signs and you're sharing them because that's our job. And it's breaking bondage and people are repenting and people are coming to the Lord Jesus Christ through his signs, through your labor, all glory to our Father forever. And I showed you Pele and told you it meant wonder. Well, it also means marvel. And wonder of God's act of judgment and redemption. He's coming immediately. And I'm not saying a date ever. But just remember, they're planning on sacrificing the red heifer on Passover. And I don't trust them. They could do it on the Feast of Trumpets for all we know. And when they sacrifice that red heifer on the Mount of Olives, they will start sacrificing the lambs immediately. The daily sacrifices will start immediately. They don't need the temple. All they need is the altar. And they already have the altar. And I'm an ambassador for him. And I'm supposed to speak as boldly as I ought to speak. So here's this star called Logos. And it means word. And Jesus Christ is the word. And when you look underneath that, at the bottom, it says word, reason, or plan. And he has the master plan. That's why we're predestined to do good works. And it says right there in early Christian theology, it means the divine reason implicit, ordering it and giving it form and meaning. And there's another star right there inside the woman named Joan. And I haven't even barely been going over the Strong's Bible concordances, matching them up with these because the meanings behind these stars speak for themselves. But when you look them up in Strong's, the numbers of these stars, it's magnificent. And remember, Strong's is the word numbered. And Joan, in Hebrew, it means gift from God. And all glory to our Father, a lot of you brothers and sisters are sending me these now and it's helping me tremendously, thank you. But I am buried in these signs. But he's going to get out what he wants to get out before he comes. So I'm going to close the curtain now, What he is about to do. Our father is about to close the door. I just showed you on 9-11, Thyra. And remember, Noah's Ark, they went inside seven days before the flood started and the door was shut. And we've seen plenty of signs and we know he's coming. And when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction happens. So finish the race strong, family. It's almost over. I love you.